Hello wonderful people! Today I wanted to share my current process of painting on wood and the first time I ever tried painting on wood panel. That was new for me. I hope you are all well and ready for some info. In the background you can see me paint on the wood panel already. In the audio I will share with you the changes I made to my process. When it comes to painting itself, I have realized that blocking in colors and, and then adding detail is the best way to go. I work with wash, almost oil-like, when I keep the brush fairly dry when I want to blend colors or add details. With lots of water, gouache wets easily and I lose some of the shading that I've created earlier. Also, I just love the cobalt turquoise I've been showing in the last video for the background. It works so well with the dark stained wood. Speaking of it, let's talk about the changes in the process and the stained wood is one of them. In the past I have created a tutorial of how to paint on wood using watercolor and gouache as well as how to seal the paintings afterwards. And although nothing has changed when it comes to me sealing the pieces, I have learned that I can improve the results of painting with gouache on wood. This does not apply to watercolor on wood though. As gouache is applied in a thicker covering layer, I have experienced that it's not as important to cover the wood with watercolor ground as the thicker paint will not run and flow as watercolor does. Good water control is important though, because if there is too much water, the paint will bleed through the grain of the wood and create a veiny texture, which is not easy to fix but to paint over it. Another thing I have tested and I am loving it is tinting the wood before I paint. For my pieces I have used pigment inks as well as artist grade walnut stain. That is made to stain papers initially. But it works very well on wood too. The pigment inks I tried were a bit easier to handle as they dried waterproof and I had an easy painting process without the lower layer wetting and messing with my mixers. This does not apply to the walnut stain, in case you use not waterproof inks. When messing with an area too much or having slightly more water on the brush, the ink did re-wet quickly and I wasn't able to achieve highlights on the first layer. What I did was creating a muted consistent color palette though and all colors had a little bit of that ink in them. To create highlights I had to layer the gouache, which again needed some water control because it does red easily too. For my paintings I've been using Schminke Horadam gouache. The problem of easy to red layers can be solved by using acrylic gouache. The nice aspect of rewatability is though that you can always try to fix mistakes even out mixes or bold strokes that you've put down unintentionally. I feel like the stained wood gives the piece a more sophisticated look in comparison with the blank, untreated wood and I'm just in love with how the little birdies look painted on wood. When finished and sealed, the finished piece looks like it could have been acrylics or oils that were used. To see what products I use and my process of varnishing, which is not simple, please watch the tutorial I have linked down below. Another issue I wanted to address is the light fastness of gouache. Many claim it's not light fast at all and generalize this on all gouache, but there are differences, the same ones as in watercolors. Many brands will give you pigment information for their gouache, so you can check whether the pigments used are light fast. Historically, gouache was not used for lasting pieces, but I know many want to create those and want their art to last. Gouache can be created in different ways using dyes and pigments. So better check the information on, of the gouache you desire and whether fugitive or non-lightfast pigments were used. If you cannot find pigment information, you're up for, for an adventure and maybe have to test the paints yourself to find out whether they will last or fade quickly. I feel pretty safe using the gouache palette I have, as I have reliable pigment information on my colors and have chosen them well according to my needs. I actually have updated the palette recently and added a few colors for convenience mainly. Other than that, my partner and I have created a watercolor database where I test paints for their light fastness. By now we have over 1300 colors in the database and it's growing continuously. Although we test watercolors, you can search for the pigments in the search bar and see how those behave. This will help you to estimate how the gouache color with the same pigments will behave too. The binder does play a role in it too, but I believe it's a minor one considering watercolor is so close and applied in a thinner wash. The link for the database is down below, it's 100% free and has no paywalls. Though we appreciate a tip on coffee, 
where is a gallery with an open access for everyone with mixing charts of palettes I have tested over the years. This might also help you with purchasing decisions. Let me know what you think about Grush and whether you fell in love with it as well as I and whether you use it. What kind of Grush do you use and what are your experiences with it? If you have any questions about the process, feel free to ask in the comments as I'm happy to share my process and my knowledge with you. I also plan an updated video on all reliable ways to seal watercolor on wood and paper with pros and cons as well as a process video of watercolor on board. Of course, I will also continue painting on paper as well, which I by the way did on my last stream, where I was a bit anxious and hesitant when streaming years ago and quickly stopped doing it. I do enjoy the streams now. The wonderful talks we have about paints, pigments, swatches, experiences, life and everything around it. A link to Twitch is down below as well. Leave a like for Dante and have a wonderful day everyone. Hope to see you soon. Bye! Also because I did such a bad job at this voiceover, here are some bloopers for you to enjoy. And although nothing has changed when it comes to the And although nothing has changed to me. And although nothing And although no And although not also My And although And although, <laughs> and although <laughs> Ich kann auch. Was, 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 ich kann nicht mehr sprechen. And although nothing has changed when it comes to me sealing the pieces, I have so much trouble saying although. Oh, now it works. <laughs> I'm sorry. And also. <laughs> and although. Other than that, my partner and I have created a watercolor database where I test pig. Other than that, my partner and my pat Panther and I. Wrong. And I am just in love with how the little birdies look on paint later. Another thing I have tested and I am loving. Wrong. <laughs>